Hello everybody. So I've created a owl canvas today for the August event from the Creative Arts Collaboration, the hashtag Pogust, Pogust Art. And I saw a video the other day for an owl that was created. The YouTube channel is Skimball2000. And she created a mini owl canvas for her daughter. And I just love the little owls on there. So I wanted to recreate them. And what I'm doing with the gelatos or the gel sticks is um, I'd also watched a couple of YouTube videos from Design Memory Craft and Donna Downing was doing the tutorial on how to use like techniques and things with the gel sticks. So I thought I would give that a try. And I'm going to, I stick my Ranger Distress Ink on the mat and spray it with water so I can go around all of the squares to kind of highlight them and bring them out from the page. And I go all around the side and I really like those mats that I got because I can do that now and it's right there on the mat and it wipes up easy. Instead, because on my table it would just, it would take a couple of baby wipes to get it all wiped up. So, let's see. Now I'm gonna take some hairspray that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna spray it to kind of hold the gel sticks down a little bit. It doesn't work perfect, but it did pretty all right. Now I have the EK Success one inch circle punch, and I'm just punching out a bunch of little circles, and then I'm gonna go around the edges with the Distress Ink in the Vintage Photo. And I've already done a lot of these up before, because I knew what I wanted to do, so I got them all done. <clears throat> Excuse me, and so I'm gonna lay them out kind of how I think I'm going to want them, but I end up taking them off because I was just kind of looking to see how it was going to see how it was going to look. And there I've drawn the head and the wings, and I did it in blue, and I'm going to trace it onto some pink so they'll be so they'll match and they'll be side by side. And I'm going to cut those out and add Distress Ink around the edges on those as well. And here I'm going to do a whitewash, so I'm just taking some gesso and mixing it with water so it can kind of just cover it up. And with that hairspray, since it didn't stick it completely, it kind of it moved the gel sticks underneath it a little bit, but in the end I really like how it turned out. But if you're not wanting yours to spread at all, you'll want to use like Mod Podge or something maybe. So I'm taking the Tim Holtz stencil, the stripes, and I'm going to put down some tape to kind of mark, mask off where I'm wanting to put my... I'm trying to make my tree, so... Um, and it's kind of just, I curved it up a little bit. And then I'm going to be using the Studio Acrylics Modeling Paste to put it on. And at first I put it on kind of a thin layer and then I come back in and add it thicker to make it more textured. So it'll kind of resemble a tree branch. kind of pat it all around to make it thicker. This video was about an hour long and I've edited it, sped it up, and got it down to the time that it is. And it was taken in a couple of takes. I was in and out of the house trying to get this done so I was, <clears throat> excuse me, having to go and pick people up from work, take people to work. <laughs> so there's three working adults in my house so I we have to sh um, we only have two vehicles so sometimes we have to share <laughs> um, so now I'm just taking some gel sticks and I'm drawing on their little noses or their beaks with the orange and then I'm going to take the metallic pink and of the Alex brand metallics add a little I think I end up adding a little bit of regular pink gel sticker. Oh no, I add a little bit more of the metallic. Just kind of 
give it a little color on the outside where its little cheeks are and up by the ears. And I also do it on their wings. Just kind of give it a little shine to it with the metallic. And then I'm going to do the same with the blue. I'm just using the blue gel stick and then the metallic blue. Hopefully in the background you can't hear my air conditioner, it's on in here. So hopefully it's not drowning out too much. It's not that loud, but so I've got these little like flat bag rock things from the Dollar Tree or wherever. And I'm just gonna make my eyes out of them. At first I'm going over it with the chalk marker that I got from the Dollar Tree. In which it works good, but here in a few minutes you'll see me switch out to just use white acrylic paint so that it'll be more opaque and then I use the black acrylic paint to do the inner parts of the eye. Whenever I was air dry or using my heat tool on this um, mat, I realized that it was getting too hot and bubbling up, which it straightened back out. So with it being heat resistant, um, it kind of is because it did bubble up for a second, but um, or right there it did. So I ended up putting a piece of paper underneath. Let's see, that's where I have. I'm still using the chalk marker. Then I switched over to the acrylic for the rest of them and that one. I'm just seeing how they look on there. Got them looking at each other. I'm gonna use this cryon cry what is it? Cryon clear crystal glaze to put on the backs of them to keep the paint because the acrylic will just scratch right off and for whatever reason I don't want them to do that. So I just use the crystal glaze just to be safe. Okay, and then I'm just taking the brown gel stick and then like there's a, a gold metallic, um, the metallic crayons to paint my tree and I end up adding some black. I want it darker than what it was. And so I get that all mixed in and paint my tree and I really like how it turned out. Here in a few I'll add the other colors to kind of highlight some of the points on there. So it's not all one color. And then here with the little dots that I'd used, I didn't end up filming that part, which I used the Tim Holtz stencils. Um, I think they're called, I don't know, dots or something. But I'm taking all the gel sticks and just wetting my brush and you um, kind of using it as a little palette in my hand and to go over the little dots in all different colors that I used in the background to make those dots pop and bring some more color to the page. They're so colorful. Now I'm just going to use some tacky glue and I'm only going to put it on like the top half of the dot so that once I get them all together they can kind of look like they're poofing out a little bit. And I've used different colors of pattern paper. I stuck with for the boy owl blues, greens, teal and on the girl owl I used like pink, yellow, and the white, it looks like they're white but there's little pink arrows on them, pretty faint, but I just sat down and punched a whole bunch of them out. 
before I ever went out to my garage, I just sat in the room watching YouTube videos, just punching them out and distressing them. I actually made way too many because I still have quite a bit, so I can use those on another project. Okay, and now I'm just taking a yellow gel stick and going all around the outside to kind of give them kind of like they're shining. Or not shining, but just to add an outline to them, highlight it a little bit. And I really like the way that yellow looks on with all those other colors. Okay, here I'm going to, I just used a scrap piece of paper um, that I had used to, for my paint before, and I'm just drawing some little feet. And they're not perfect, you can tell they're hand drawn, but <laughs> I'm not great at drawing. And I'm going to go around the edges of those with a distress ink as well, cover up all the white lines on the edges. I'm going to get those glued down and I'm going to glue down my eyes just using the tacky glue still. <clears throat> I'm going to go through my stickers, my alpha stickers, try to pick out which ones I want to use. These are the special moment stickers from Dollar Tree. And I choose the word owl off of these. I like them. They were more of like a, the O and the W and the L were like a teal color. I just have these sticker sheets that it came in um, like a little scrapbooking set or whatever I had purchased a while back. I'm going to spell out always. And those aren't the best stickers, but I use them anyways. And then here are the Simple Stories Awesome sticker sheet. I'm just going to use the orange alphas out of that to spell out love. Okay, I put down some yellow gel stick where I plan on putting my words at. This is Right there, I'm showing my homemade gesso. It's just Elmer school glue or any kind of school glue and water mixed together. And I found that cute little canister at Dollar Tree to stick it in. So I'm going to put all my letters down, all my words. Just, um, I'll always love you. And I just put that yellow down kind of as a highlight. Now, here I'm using these flowers and these. As well, came from the Dollar Tree. I just buy those like lays that they have around the summertime, and I bought several different colors. And I take them off the strands. And I just got some in a bag, and I use yellow and white. And then I'm going through my little container of little bits and bobs, and I find these brads that I've had for a while. And one of them is a circle brad that says "Hello," and it's colorful. It's not as bright colors, but there's colors in it, and so it just looks good, I think. I'm going to get that stick down and then I'm going to show you the end result. I've got it slowed back down so it can go uh, so you can be able to see everything. But thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. I hope you like this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.